Yo, this your boy Double Up, and I'm back with another uh, uh, banger. And today I'm about to get into that boy Whack 100, man. I guess he went in on that boy Brick Baby, man. That boy Brick Baby was talking too much, man. You know, Lil Dirt case. You know, Lil Dirt just got locked up. If you don't know, you get what I'm saying? You must have been hiding under a rock. You get what I'm saying? But we're going to get right into the content. But before we get into the content, I need you to like, comment, subscribe. All right, let's get right into it. Um. He's uh, given his uh, his faith and life to uh, Islam. And that's the crazy about this is that this is coming like a week after we start having conversations about, you know, how much growth Dirk is showing because he's got the picture of all the dead Chicago legends and a bunch of them are people that him and his people beefed with, etc. And everybody was complimenting him on that growth and everything. And even I think it was yesterday I said why does Mama Duck's lawsuit name Lil Dirk in terms of like profiting off of Duck's death? Because from my perspective, the only thing Dirk ever really did in terms of Duck's death was he put his name in some lyrics. That's it. That's, it. That's regular. Every rapper does that. That's not really like an example of him benefiting from it on some extreme scale or anything like that. And now we're faced with this situation that makes it seem like, you know, you know, a lot, a lot of people did say when they saw him do that at the concert, they said, this isn't going to stop the Rico. Or this is a man who's scared of the Rico. And then this is a few days later. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy. And then and then you have Brick. <laughs> brick got to stop doing these bricks, bro. <laughs> and you know what? I, I think <laughs> I've been watching Brick mm -hmm. because Luz Cannon been – taking all the little things he does and eating him up, trolling him with it. I think Brick thinks things and the things he's thinking instead of processing, that's something for me to store away for other conversations, maybe privately. He just says it mm. and not realizing what he's saying. Do you feel like Brick Baby talks too much? In this case, I really think Brick Baby said too much. I get what I'm saying. Like He really implicated that. He said, uh, you can't say... Uh, slide for Vaughn no more. You get what I'm saying? How you guys feel? Drop it in the comments. Let's get back into it. Could kind of turn into something. Because if I'm not mistaken, he kind of made a comment like, <clears throat> I guess they can't say OTF didn't slide. Yeah, we can actually mm -hmm. uh, play the audio right here. Oh, yeah, slide for Vaughn. Yeah. They say he can't say that no more. Why? Wow. Oh, yeah, because of. Wait, wait no, wait, no, no. <laughs> like, wait, you can't say that no more. Oh, because of FVG Cash? Oh, who? Nah, because Lil Pop. See? Oh! What's that? But I'm just saying, they just say you can't say that no more. That's the new term on it. Like, no more Sly for Vine. Because of Lil Pop. Now, See? after that incident, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sly for Vine. <laughs> yeah. They say you can't say that no more. Now, if Brick Baby was just There's a random... no getting out of that. Listen, if he's just a random person, it's whatever, but he's somebody who's got photos with Dirk, he's been pictured with all the OTF guys and stuff. It seems like kind of... That was before he even worked for No Jumper. That actually was the interview that made me like, you know what? I'm going to fuck with you. See, no, him saying that, and, <laughs> and, and he from the streets, and if he's tied anyway to OTF, it's like you know something... And you saying, well, they can't say this, Slava. You are saying that these group of people committed this act. So here he is. I don't know, a year, two years later, however long it's been, right? Boom. OTF is hit with an indictment. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Loose Cannon's been exposing the shit. Brick got an open case. Yeah. And everybody's watching, Brick, where are your court dates? Brick got to stop, and I, and me personally, I don't think he should have said that, but I don't think he realized what he was saying. Mm. He knew what he was saying, but he didn't realize that, yo, this could potentially lead to something. Brick is from the streets. I don't know if he how you guys feel? Do you feel like him saying that could implicate dirt in anything, which I really feel it do if the feds watching? Even, you know, because that boy Brick Baby does have a fed case and he hasn't went to court. Like, well, where's your court day at? You know what I'm saying? I just don't understand. And they said it's an L.A. dude that got caught up in all of this. You get what I'm saying? So y'all feel like it's Brick Baby? Let me know in the comments how y'all feel about this. Let's get back to it. We be high, bro. Be high. Would it be? But like. Hearing that and then seeing what we're seeing, 
and knowing it was an ongoing investigation, when you start seeing CIs and this and this mm -hmm. and this and that, people minds start wondering, even if any of them people were in contact, I don't mm -hmm. know how close he was to him. It's just bad. He got to slow down on that. Okay. Do you know that narrative about why Pab got killed? Well, from, from my the under, marijuana thing. Yes. Uh, some sort of drug deal gone bad. Some Somebody ran off with some money, whatever. To the best of my knowledge, Quando also believed that that was what happened in that situation. Well, Quando kept it gangster mm. because Quando, if I can remember, said somebody reached in over him yeah. and directly hit him. Eliminating the possibility of anybody else. Right. But now when the footage is coming out, they never made it to the SUV. They sparking from the alley. Right. So the shots came from the alley. Nobody. No, but then they run right up to him. The they didn't do it from like a distance. The right? pictures that Remo put up. Hmm. Oh shit. Remo got him up. They sparking from the alley. They masked up. They shisted up. Sparking from the alley. Mm. Which is probably about 20, 30 feet from the vehicle. Oh, okay. So I think Quando was like keeping it real. You know, shortly after that, he started to change his life. He dropped his, you know, he Everybody turned in Muslim his flag. And, yeah. Everybody on How y'all guys feel about Quando Rondo dropping his flag after this happened? Do you feel like it had something to do with Rick Baby and they tied in together because he's from 60s and he was from 60s? How, how you guys feel? I want you to jump in the comments. I want to know how you guys feel. Let's get back into it. Um, Both sides is Muslim now. You know, I don't fault nobody for um <laughs> shout out to uh <clears throat> brother Greg Rex and uh Tony Muhammad. I don't fault nobody for changing their life to Islam. Um, uh, but you know, some people do it for the right reasons, some people do it for to camouflage. Hopefully if you're doing it for the wrong reasons, the righteous catch up catches up with you. Mm. But and it, it's not gonna stop because now it's gonna roll downhill. Mm -hmm. And we still got this other situation over here hope, open and we don't know where it's going to go with this young Dolph thing and Big Juke and Big Juke this and he's part of this company. All these things are just being just torn and ripped apart to where I think all the doors are going to shut to this independent land that we was doing coming out of these urban communities and it's going to go back to back to the basics. A lot of this drill shit might seem like a ancient history at some point because Keep in mind, we got somebody like EBK Jabo, Seven Hours North, going crazy. There's been gang indictments on like every gang in Stockton. So this dude Bands, who's like a Mexican crip that I interviewed, who beefs with EBK Jabo, he got locked up. All these fools are getting locked up up there, which is really making it look like oh, all these different cities are getting super fucking serious about getting rid of this problem. And it kind of reminds me of how shit is with the mafia. Where the mafia damn near don't even exist in the same way that it does. And when you talk to mafia dudes, it's obvious that like, yes, there are there's criminal activity being executed by fucking old ass Italian dudes, but it's not really like the way that it used to be. I feel like we fast forward the clock five years, we might have a similar feeling about like black street gang that also happen to be making music that they might just get so much more organized at taking that shit down that it might just be like a thing of the past. Bro, this is over. With. I draw your attention to the screen here. This is a conversation that I had with Mama Duck earlier. <laughs> she sent me a link to the report about five people being charged. And, you know, she's really taking like anybody on the op side getting in trouble. She's out there waving the flag like, yes, get yeah, get him, King. Yes, girls. Hold on, man. Do y'all see this? Do you see what Mama Duck's saying to this man? Like, wow, let's get back into it. And so she says to me, now take that peg out your ass and put it in your mouth, bitch. Checkmate. Now stay in your lane and tell Brick Baby I said thank him for the boss top he pulled. See, that's what I'm saying, so bro. I respond, mm. you let Brick give you top? <laughs> She said, <laughs> that's good. she said, nah, you suck his dick and I don't secondhand dick suck. So, okay. You want to know what she means wow. when she says for the boss top, he pulled, there's an infamous clip from a vlog that was filmed at O block a couple months after FBG duck was killed in which O block legend boss top is basically talking about life in O block. And there's a bunch of cars in the background that were later linked to the FBG, FBG duck killing everybody's kind of in this joyous mood. I don't know how long after Doug got killed this was actually filmed, but 
it was later edited to take a lot of this footage out of the video, but a lot of people have pointed towards that and basically said, like, this is obvious proof that Oblock was responsible for Duck's murder, which we all now know is basically true. And that's why that boy uh, Ruger got on Adam-22, because you always playing with people, man. You see how you playing with Mama Duck, you know what I'm saying? So I understand why Ruger got on his behind, you know what I'm saying? How you guys feel? Drop in the comments. Let's get back into it. So she, wait, wait. she's taking credit for she's saying that brick basically did the same thing that boss top did by first putting that narrative out no, there look. which mm -hmm. i disagree with because honestly he, i could have very easily said oh they were saying slide for duck well little pab got killed it would make sense if otf was in some way like i could have said that as a civilian with no knowledge outside of watching youtube videos so i don't really see how brick was demonstrating that he had any kind of insider knowledge. She's saying that Brick was the first ones to put the narrative out there. Mm -hmm. You can call it a narrative or you can call it a tip. Right. Right? Because at the time, OTF was never mentioned. Right. Facts. He's the first one that made any type of anything that OTF was involved by saying, I guess they can't say they didn't slide for Bond no more. It's like, uh, I mean, end of the day, it's, it's, it's a violation. Facts. But in, in, in the, I, I'm trying to defend Brick because I don't think he really means it. I think his care, this podcast thing has crossed his wires. Mm. At the end of the day, man, I think that boy Brick Baby said too much. I want to know how you guys feel. Drop it in the comments. But until next time, uh, I'm out.